Hey guys, so I made a video about turning strategies into alerts, which got a fair amount of attention. It involved a lot of coding though, and in some cases it was even impossible to convert some strategies. Well, TradingView just released an update which made all of that irrelevant, and while it does kind of take away from my old video, it is also going to help so many people, it makes things a lot simpler. So how does one do this? It's actually super simple, and say we have a strategy right here, I have a Bollinger Band strategy. You go down to the Strategy Tester tab right here, and then you go and click on this little alert icon, and we're met with this familiar alert menu, and it works exactly like the old alert menu. We'll just do Notify on App and Show Pop-Up, this will just be a normal alert we're gonna set the message really all you want to do is if you want a very clean simple alert just just do something like this we're just gonna keep the strategy .order action, and this right here it represents buy or sell so if we get a buy signal it's gonna print out Bollinger Band strategy buy or whatever we're gonna go click create and we're done your alert is pretty much ready to go it's that simple and it's it's so much better than that 10 minute video about having to go into the code and do all that stuff I'm gonna finish up though by going over some cash caveats and how we make sure we don't end up repainting with strategies whenever the price update. Because the way this works is TradingView sends your strategy data live, it sends it tick data, but historically it's sending it open, high, low, close data, which is basically what you see here, candles. So TradingView even warns us here that strategies are more susceptible to repainting because of that. Because I don't know if you guys ever noticed with the like normal alerts, like let's say you have a basic crossover alert, you're going to get that alert as soon as that crossover happens, even if the candle hasn't closed basically you're going to see strategies from a historical point of view they're always going to be at the end either end of the candle when in reality they could execute in the middle of the candle which in some cases that's good and then in other cases it's bad and i want to say most of the time it's not to your benefit so that's just one thing you want to keep in mind there's really no way to fix this quote-unquote problem because it actually it goes way beyond the scope of this video. It's more or less just be aware of this this problem being able to happen, especially on higher time frames. Because basically you're going to see things not matching up 100%. Your strategy is going to execute when the condition is met, not when the condition is met and the close of the candle. If you want to try to fix that, you would have to look into adding a condition in there that it's the end of the candle or it's the close of the candle. The other thing TradingView mentions here is that it's very easy to get out of sync with, um, with your exchange or broker, and that could wind up losing you money really quick. And both of these examples are pretty good. Basically, it just says, be careful that you're not just blindly entering in whatever numbers your strategy is putting in there in case some of your orders aren't getting filled or some other thing where your exchange is getting out of sync with your uh, strategy. Because for example, you could be in a long and you think you're in a short and then you go to close your long by shorting. So now you're just in, you just increased your short position, which is not good. <laughs> so basically at the end of the day, I would just use this to manually trade. I wouldn't try to automate anything with this, at least by itself. Um, I do have an app. I'll put it in a link in the description, but basically it's TradingView webhooks bot. With this, you could do something Thing like that because you can actually communicate with the exchange through an API and put in whatever checks and protections you want to make sure that doesn't happen. Other than that, I think that covers everything. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or DM me on Twitter. I try to get back to those as fast as I can. While you're there, you can also feel free to follow because I try to give out some really great free resources or links to things I've found. But a fair warning, it is a bit more than like simple tips or whatever. These are like full on math or statistics, machine learning heavy books that aren't, um, <laughs> I'll just say they aren't something that you can just breeze through. It's some, it's some legitimate real deal stuff. But either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.